What is up y'all, welcome back to another video and today I am so excited to be doing the first wash slash detail on the McLaren 570S. If y'all can't tell, the car is used so it's gonna take a little bit more effort to get it to that top condition that I'd like it at. Uh, and so eventually with this car, what I'd like to be able to do is a paint correction and ceramic coating and possibly some sort of clear bra on the front. I can't do the clear bra, but I do the paint correction and ceramic coating. So if y'all wanna check that out, go ahead, sub to the channel and eventually I'll get it posted. But I'm just waiting until I can get a few days to actually do the job because it is gonna take a little bit of work. So before we get started, let me go ahead, go around the car, show y'all a few of the things that I'm gonna to try to work on this wash. If y'all wanna skip that, I'll put the timestamp in the video so you can see where you have to skip forward to to skip this whole looking over the car process. So for the most part, the car is in pretty good condition. In the front, I really don't see that many rock chips, so that's good. And just in general, the car, like I said, is in good condition. The front windshield is cracked. That's gonna get fixed in about two days, but we just took the car home before that gets done. The underside of the car has been completely replaced. So the car itself is actually in good condition. The wheels don't have any curb rashes from what I can see. And in general, the car is in great condition, like I said. The main thing that the car does need is a proper polish. The car does have some swirls in it, which is expected on any car, uh, especially when people don't know what they're doing, which is very, very, very typical. So I'm not surprised to see that. Hopefully that'll make a good video for y'all. Next thing is interior of the car. The interior of the car has some dirt buildup in the places where I'd expect it, but again, it's not so bad. The car is still pretty low miles. The last issue with the paint, besides for swirls, is a little bit of sticky residue. You can kind of see the color change from here and here. And this is from a wrap that was on the car. Now, I'm honestly not super disappointed that the car was wrapped because it keeps the paint in better condition. So yeah, that's a good thing, but there is some sticky residue left over and I'm hoping that we'll avoid claying the car to get that off. I'm thinking just an aggressive shampoo or even my normal shampoo will be able to get it off with a tiny bit of scrubbing. So now that we have the exterior of the car talked about, let's go ahead and look at the interior of the car. The interior of the car is actually in pretty good condition. I cleaned it up a little bit yesterday out of excitement, but it really does need a deep clean. As we can see here, the back of the seats, not this one in particular, are a little bit dusty, and this is piano black, so it's a little bit difficult to clean. Back here is dirty. Um, there's just some overall buildup on the steering wheel and center console, as well as the door handle and doors themselves. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the interior. The interior itself is in good condition, just needs a good scrubbing on some of these surfaces. So now that we've talked about what the car needs, I'm gonna go ahead, get these buckets filled up, and then we're gonna do a cold start of the car before we take it outside. So the first step of any detail is going to be to rinse down all the wheels. This car has carbon ceramic brakes, which makes the cleaning process a whole lot easier. We won't need to use a wheel cleaner. All we'll end up using is the car shampoo and water mix with the wheel woolies and other tools. Hmm. So the car is kind of a blend between standard plastic wheel wells and a carpeted wheel well. So I'm gonna try a little bit harder to get him clean, obviously. So for some reason this audio did not turn out in the video. All I'm saying is that for a carbon ceramic wheel, you really don't need to wipe it down with this mitt. The pressure washer would do fine but I'd like to get these wheels as close to new as possible to really see how clean they actually can get. So I am going all the way on this wash. 
And the last thing I'm doing here is using this mitt on this lip of the fender. There's a lot of rubber that kicks up here and just road debris. And doing this prevents it from getting on the mitt that you'll end up using on the paint for the rest of the car. This, the radiator tends to get a lot of crap stuck in it. Just leaves, sticks, bugs. Wow, that's a big one. Um, and uh, I was trying to think of a decent way to get any, like get all that stuff out. And honestly, the best thing that I've thought about is using a vacuum on it because I don't think blowing it with the air compressor would do much besides for just send it all over the place. Uh, and I think I'm gonna try using the vacuum route first. I did it on the other side and it worked okay, but it's not great, but it's better than nothing. Okay, that seemed to get a little bit of this stuff out. It's fine, I just figured I'd try it out. It got a, a decent amount out, but maybe later we can try some other things. But now let's go ahead and rinse down the car completely. The next step after we rinse down the car is to foam it with the foam cannon. So let's go ahead and get this set up. And then get it filled up with water. That way we can foam down the car. Now, what we're gonna go ahead and do is grab this brush and get into all the details of the car. I'm gonna spare you guys this because this is what the car really needs considering it hasn't had a proper detail probably ever. So I'm gonna get into all the little sections that I wouldn't be able to get with the full size mitt now and that way the car can be as close to perfect as possible. So, inside here, and honestly, because I've never washed this car before, I'm gonna have to take a little bit of time to figure out what nooks there are on the car, just because I don't know it well enough. Once you do your car a few times, then obviously you'll get the hang of what areas need attention and what don't. So obviously this back McLaren logo is gonna need a nice clean. The key here is to use a soft brush. I know this isn't an instruction video, but I just like to hook y'all up with some tips. Underneath here, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna not waste y'all's time. Go ahead, clean the car with this, and then we'll continue once we rinse down the foam. So as always, start from the top, working in straight lines, and I really don't need to press down that much. I might need to clay it to pull that wrap stuff off.
All right, now I'm gonna repeat that process on the other side of the car, then we'll move on to the front and back. Oh, it's tough. Now that the car is pretty much all the way rinsed off, we're gonna go inside and switch over to deionized water just because of how much stuff is going on on the car and all the drip spots that it most likely is gonna have. And so this way, the water won't be quite as hard and it'll, it won't stain quite as much. So all I'm gonna do is heavily rinse down all the parts of the car and then we're gonna be able to dry it off. The car is dried off. We just got finished driving it around a little bit to get all the drips to go and we pulled it back in the garage. Now it's time to tackle the interior. Like I mentioned, the car is used. So there's a few things that I'd like to address. You can see how it's a little bit more white here than it is kind of in the rest of the spots. This is from people grabbing on, so this needs to be cleaned. This whole armrest, really the door panel itself, needs to be properly scrubbed and cleaned. The steering wheel I already did a little bit, but I'd like to get it a little bit less shiny. It still has some hand residue on it. Obviously everything needs to be vacuumed. We need to clean this up, this up, and maybe a little bit of carpet cleaner on here as well. The back seats, these need to be cleaned off the right way. They are piano black, so they'll scratch easy. So I'm gonna probably spray it down with the air compressor first and then start to clean it. Obviously underneath the seats should be vacuumed. Back here can use some carpet cleaner and a vacuum as well. This armrest as well as inside the cup holders is gonna get cleaned up on the dash. Pretty much everything is gonna get scrubbed down like I mentioned before. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all a few clips of some of the stuff that I do, maybe a little bit of before and after, so you can see how much better the car looks. I know it's tough to see on camera, but the car is a little bit dirty, but definitely not the worst thing that I've had to deal with, um, without a doubt. I just wanna get this car uh, absolutely 100% perfect.
Okay, just checking in with you guys. It's been a little bit since I last went over what I've done. So I've got, so I've got the back behind the seats done, as well as the side here, up on the dash, the seats are done. Getting the center console just about finished. The doors are just about done, as you can see. There's a whole lot less just gunk on them. Pretty much completely cleaned out. Now I could spend a little bit more time but at this point, I think everything's just about as good as it's gonna get for now. So at this point, the only thing left on the interior itself is the finishing touches. So brushing the Alcantara to get the fibers to stand up a little bit and uh, getting the carpets done. Once we finish that, I'm gonna go around and clean all of these seals. As you can see, there is a little bit of dirt on them. So I'm just gonna go around with all purpose cleaner, clean these, then clean up the door jams with a little bit of waterless wash and then go around the exterior of the car, get the wheels done, and find any uh, water spots that are still on the paint. And just like that, the car is finished. I'd say it took about four hours, but the car had a fair bit of just built up dirt and stuff. And on a car like this, I just like to take my time, make sure I'm doing it the safe and proper way and not rushing anything, because it's really not worth, worth the risk. As you can see, the interior of the car looks a whole lot better now. Um, obviously the, the mats are done, the seats are clean, behind the seats are clean. Um, and yeah, it's not 100% where I'd like it, but it's a really good start, I think, from now, uh, now forward. That once I do one or two more details on the car, it'll actually be properly perfect and to my spec again. But it, it's really just little stuff. As for the front windshield, didn't really try too hard to make that perfect. It's gonna get replaced in two days or so. So that's not really a concern. The front is nice. The, the lights do have some rock chips, so I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do with that yet. If you wanna see any more content about the McLaren 570Fs or any of our other cars, please subscribe to this channel. Let me know any video ideas that y'all have for either this car or the other ones in the comment section down below. Leave a like on this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Thanks for watching. Peace.